so we are going to look at a new car for me so I've had um, turn left onto Felders Lane <laughs> I've had Kia now for about six years so I thought it's time to try something different and I really like SUVs because I like to be high up and uh, in a quarter of a mile we are going to look at uh, Volvo what is it XC40 XC40 Volvo XC40 it has won the best SUV I think last year so um, yeah, I've never really seen it so we're going to have a look at that oh my god look I've got a cold saw and it's all cabin up now very attractive <laughs> see you later so this is the inside I don't want the orange carpet though there is a dog in there <laughs> it's not real <laughs> Was the Oh, nice big boat. Okay. Oh, home and carbon, nice. I like it, but not the orange carpets. I'm gonna have black. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. Oh, we've just come back, so he's all excited. We've just come back from looking at cars. Mm. Yes, I really love that car, so I think I'm going to get that one. They are not available till June, I think, so we will have to order one. Um, yeah, but I really liked it. Go on, go on. Go on. I've also been to my P.O. box and I got the new Bad Girl Bang Mascara from um, Benefit, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Oh, it feels very nice. So I might review this one for you. Um, I also got this, uh, which is Age Embracing Makeup, and it's called Big Glowing Beauty Illuminate and Shine Palette. So it comes in this beautiful box, but then look at it inside. It looks like a purse. It looks beautiful, I'm looking forward to using it. There it is. So it has eight eyeshadows and what's in here? Oh, it looks like a concealer and a um, Shush, and maybe cream highlighter. I'm not sure, I have to read about it. But the colors look so beautiful. So yeah, I will have to do a get ready with me using those. And also I got from my lovely Charmaine, uh, my subscriber, she went to Thailand recently and she said that they have amazing, you know, skin care like mask, masks and, um, and hair masks. So she sent me some samples, uh, not samples, she sent me some masks to try. So thank you so much, Charm. That was 
very nice of you um she tried them and she said they are amazing so right i think i have to go now and clean my bedroom i've just washed my bed in so i need to go and put that back on my bed and i probably see you tomorrow or another day bye good morning it's gym time <laughs> the weather is just awful it's three and a half degrees and it's pouring down with rain and it's very windy um so this week i've started to go twice a week to the gym so today is my first session of the week and two days later i have another i don't know how i'm going to do it because last week after my session i went on tuesday and i ached till about saturday so i don't know how i'm going to do it but we will try So after my last Monday video, I got so many comments from you about the Shape Tape Concealer, how it dries out your under eye, and I just don't understand why no one is talking about it on YouTube. I suppose most of the YouTubers are very young and they wouldn't, I suppose, see that yet, but yeah, for um, my more mature skin it shows and I must tell you I've now stopped using it for what is it today for about four or five days and I feel like my under eyes looking already a bit better so it definitely is that um, concealer shame shame because I really liked everything about it other than being drying but I didn't put the two together so also about the teeth so a lot of you told me how you're struggling with your teeth as well and how expensive it is everywhere um, and a lot of you said go for it some of you said now be careful because um, as we age the gums shrink and then you might need, need more work so um, I'm not any wiser really <laughs> you were no help <laughs> Um, I think I will just go as long as I can. I will start saving my money and I will go as long as my teeth stay in my mouth and when it's really time to do it, then I will do it. So I just found a salon. It's not in London, but it will take me about maybe half an hour drive there, 20 minutes, half an hour half an hour drive um, that uses Schwarzkopf um, coloring and they are those master colorists so um, I'm gonna leave my hair for a bit till I get more rotage again and I might go and try them um, I want to go for Schwarzkopf because they have of course I had that done in Poland he works with Schwarzkopf um, they have the bleach, the lightener, that has already Plex built into it. So you know Olaplex, um, it's this um, solution that repairs your hair as it colors it, you add it to the bleach or to the color. Um, so Olaplex is just a um, brand name, Plex is the actual chemical or whatever I, I watched a video about it so um, the Schwarzkopf one is called Fiberplex and I just bought Fiberplex number three which is uh, Plex treatment at home and I love it I've done it once and it really makes your hair feel better so um, I will put that down in the description box um, but apparently they bleach they lightener has that built in to the powder or whatever um, therefore your hair doesn't get as damaged oh my god I'm stuck behind huge lorry I can't sleep I can I can overtake <laughs> 
him. Oh, he's huge. And such a narrow road. <laughs> Scary. Um, so, yeah. And they are like these master colorists. So, I think I'm going to try it. I, I have it in my mind how I want my hair to look. It's all Pinterest inspired. Um, so, we will see. Oh, my God. What a huge pattern. All right, darlings. I will see you later. Okay. Just finished my workout. Oh my God, my arms and legs feel like wood. Oh, honestly, every time I go, I think this was the hardest one I've done. Anyway, I've just looked at myself in the mirror. So today I've put on the new Benefit Bad Girl. Sorry, something popped out on my phone. Um, today I wore the new Benefit Bad Girl Bang, Bang, isn't it? Mascara. I talk to you a bit more about it later. Um, I show you the actual mascara, but I must say I have mascara smudged everywhere, and I always wear mascara to my workouts. I normally wear the Kiko one and I never, it never budges, but that one, I've got proper panda eyes and, and like mascara all over my, um, my eyelids. So, I mean, the look of, my, of the mascara is really nice. Uh, it gives you quite thick, slightly spidery type of look. Um, not everybody likes that look, but I don't mind. I quite like the look, but I think that mascara is supposed to be like really long lasting. Mm, I'm not sure. Judging by my eyes today, definitely that doesn't happen to me with any other mascara. Well, not any. The, um, I must say that from Benefit, my favorite mascara is the Roller Lash. I like the roller lash. The problem with the roller lash is I don't feel that it is very black. It, this one is very black, like jet black. Um, roller lash is not black enough for me. But as a mascara, how it applies and how it performs, I really like. Oh, I'm hot. I had my hair clipped up of my face when I was working out. Gosh, I've done so much on my legs and my arms that, oh. Right, I better go because I always feel quite tired after my workout, so I need to concentrate more on my driving. i see you later. Okay, I'm back. Um, I look bright mess. So I wanna show you my eyes after this mascara. I don't know if you can see the patches and on my eyelash, eyelash eyelid. Okay, so the mascara feels really nice. It's like rubbery, very industrial looking. Um, the wand, it's quite slim, very long, very short bristles. I think this mascara would be much better if it didn't have that. Do you remember I've told you before I don't like mascaras that have bendy wand because when you're trying to really get into your lashes there is no resistance. The the wand bends with you with your lashes if you know what I mean. Also it is very wet so I would wipe it off before you put it on because it is very wet. Um, so yeah, it gives quite nice lashes. Like I said, a bit more spidery ones if you like that sort of thing. Um, but definitely not my favorite. Like I said, my favorite Benefit mascara is the Roller Lash. I didn't mind the uh, they are real, but I prefer the Roller Lash. 
all right my darlings i'm gonna go and eat something and have a rest after <laughs> this whole hour of torture i see you later hi my lovelies so today i thought i'd try this new big glowing palette that i got in my p.o box it looks really pretty and you've got the names of of the eyeshadows on here which is not very good i can't really see it oh there it is and also this palette palette's got here primer and i presume this is a eyeshadow primer and a, a cream highlighter which i don't really use um i normally don't like palettes that have you know cream products with eyeshadows but this is very clever because you can close this part so you don't get the powder in into the cream so let's make something out of it i'm going to use that primer actually um on my eyelid oh it's really nice yeah it does really give, gives lovely coverage and it's very smooth oh i like it you know i don't usually use um eyeshadow primer but this is really nice should use it with some sort of brush really okay i should powder this now but i didn't bring powder so i will use um this lightest shade to just powder it a bit so it doesn't crease okay right i think on my mobile lid i will use this shimmery eyeshadow it's a beautiful day today it's really sunny and i've got the back door open so you can probably hear the birds singing oh the eyeshadows seem very very creamy really nice it's like a champagne color they feel so creamy almost like they are cream to powder Um, then I will use this is the only these two are the only matte shadows uh, I will use this one in my crease beautiful blend so lovely wow yes yeah, so this um, palette has been made with you know more mature woman in mind so even though the eyeshadows are shim shimmery they are made they still supposed to look good on more mature eyes now can you see these two they look really really almost chunky like as if they had like really chunky um glitter but when you swatch them let me just show you they are not chunky at all very very smooth gorgeous so i will use that one which is called baroque Honestly, they blend so beautifully. Love it. Yeah, I've never heard of this uh, make, but that's why it's so great when people, when companies send you new stuff that you've never heard about, you know, and you find those little hidden gems. gorgeous it's blended out a bit this is not a tutorial i'm just 
for the first time trying this palette to see how those um, eyeshadows perform. Um, I will use that darker color underneath as well. And then I will blend it out with that crease color. Those matte shadows are gorgeous. Very pigmented, but they are blending so beautifully. Very smooth. I really want to use this like a dark gold coppery one. Shall I just pop it here? <gasps> Oh, oh my God, that's gorgeous. This is a beautiful palette. Wow. I like want to play and put them all on, on my eye. lovely yeah so check out this palette it's really really nice you know i would compare the quality to um urban decay or even lorac really really nice right i'm not playing anymore definitely beautiful palette and um the colors are for me so I'm going to put um, a bit of the Maybelline Master Smoky eyeshadow um, eyeliner winking it a bit and smudging There isn't much fallout either. Um, I had some questions actually in my um, comments about, you know, what to do when you get a lot of fallout from eyeshadows. I think the quality of eyeshadow matters, the brush matters, and also if you have problem with a lot of fallout, use an um, eyeshadow primer. And also the most important thing is you dip the brush just so so lightly into the eyeshadow and then tap it off as well and you just keep building the color it's best to do that than take loads of eyeshadow which is gonna then fall everywhere I'm gonna do my mascara okay beautiful really beautiful eyeshadows um just to let you know i'm wearing on my lips i'm wearing a Too faced melted lip liquid lipstick in queen bee but i have it topped up with anastasia beverly hills gloss in vintage um i love the look of of the Too faced on its own um but after a while I've you know it's a matte lipstick and I'm not that into matte I love the look of them but I don't like the feel of it and the Too Faced is one of the most comfortable ones but you know so that's what I've got on my lips <clears throat> my um jumper is oh my god this is so old I just found it <laughs> I think I bought it so long ago um and you know like in the winter I pack my winter stuff away and I found this one the other day and I've even forgot I had it this is from Gantt and they probably don't have this one but this type of jumpers is like, is like the signature one so um, I think they do them every year just in different colors I will try to find you a link for that here yeah, but they just it's really nice um, oh yeah, I was going to show you, because I talked to you about that Fiberplex from Schwarzkopf um, 
which is the bond man maintainer, that's number three. Yeah, so that's the one that is like the Olaplex number three. Um, you just have to remember this is not like a hair mask or a conditioner. This is a treatment that bonds your hair from inside. So on here it says to um, put it through your hair after you've washed it with the shampoo and you rinsed it. You put that on, leave it for five to ten minutes and then rinse it off it doesn't say on here to then use conditioner on the top of that but i do because even though your hair feels really nice after it i think this is not conditioner that takes care of the outside shaft of the hair this builds your hair from inside um so yeah i would still use conditioner or just um leave um use leave-in conditioner Okay, my lovelies, yes, I'm wearing a wig today because we're going out tomorrow, so I didn't want to wash my hair today and it's looking a bit minging. Um, so I thought I'd just stick a wig on. Anyway, I think that's it for this vlog. I can't remember what I vlogged about this week and I don't know how long this is going to be, so I'm going to finish here. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful week and stay fabulous, bye!